This week on the Greener Business Podcast, we're making music with a paper record player. What you will need for this project, or better yet, What you will need to salvage from around your house is a stack of magazines, newspapers, or a book. A PC fan. A 9-volt battery clip and battery. You might be able to use four AA's instead. One bolt and two nuts. No exact measurements here, just a bolt that fits the diameter of the record. Elmer's, Gorilla, Super, Wood, or other glue will work fine. A simple potentiometer used to adjust the speed of the PC fan. A nail. Scrap paper, reused wire like from a floppy disk cable or other cable, a record that you do not mind scratching up. This one came from a local thrift store and cost 63 cents. The tools you're going to need are a hobby knife and a soldering iron with .022 diameter solder. Here's the basic idea for this project. Take a stack of magazines, cut a hole for the fan, add a power source, and we should then get something along the lines of a turntable with a paper cone acting as the needle. To begin with, we need to get a PC fan. This one came from an old iMac G3. Afterwards, gather together your old magazines or book, making sure it has at least a 2cm width above the fan. In order to make the magazines turn into a base for the turntable, we are going to start by gluing each magazine onto the top of one another, then finishing off by gluing over the edges. We used a mix of Gorilla Glue and Elmer's Glue that was slightly watered down. When you get underway gluing the edges, it is best to use a brush or cloth to get an even coat. You may need to do small touch-ups around the edges. When measuring the size of the hole to cut out for the fan, be sure to make it a couple centimeters larger due to the fact that the hole will shrink as you cut through the layers. Start slashing out the hole with your hobby knife. It took us about 25 minutes to get a hole that the fan would fit snugly in. On the fan, mark the exact center and super or gorilla glue one of the nuts to it. If it's not lined up to the exact center, the needle will start skipping tracks. This nut will be used to fasten the record on it. It's time to now solder an extension wire onto the fan's wire. This wire came from part of a floppy drive cable. After you're done soldering, pop the fan into the hole extending the newly soldered wire through an opening in the magazine stack. With the two extension wires, solder the positive wire to one side of the potentiometer and solder the positive wire from the battery clip to the middle of the potentiometer. Trim the excess and make sure it works, that when you adjust the knob of the battery hooked up, it changes the speed. You can stick a piece of mounting tape onto the back of the potentiometer and either attach it to the top of the magazines which will not work well if you plan on playing larger records, or to the side, which will work for both sizes of records. The battery can be hidden between the pages of the magazine, or on the side. Regarding making the actual needle and amp for the turntable, you need to get two sheets of letter-sized paper from your recycling bin, roll it into a cone, then tape. Now with the nail. We don't have any exact measurements for the nail, just it needs to be something that is fairly sharp and you could see being used as a record player needle. Drop the nail down the cone and apply about 8 centimeters of tape to steady it. You should now have a working turntable and separate needle. For holding the needle and paper ramp onto the rotating record, you can do one of many things. Freely hold it with just your hand, use the casing from the PC fan, Use a pair of wire strippers or any other creative solution. You're done. All that's left is to play with it 
and listen to the sweet crackling sound coming out from the paper cone. Here is a list of some elements that were environmentally friendly about this project and things that weren't. Overall, this was a simple project that can bring new life into any old unwanted record and use pre-existing materials you already most likely have around. Visit greenerbusinessshow.org for more information on this project and many others. Email us at contact at greenerbusinessshow.org. Have a great week.